I often get asked what kind of paper I use when drawing traditionally. My choice is almost always Bristol board paper. Generally, Bristol comes in two types of finishes, smooth and vellum. There is a notable difference between the two, and depending on what kind of piece you're looking to make, one might be better suited for your needs over the other. Let's start with the smooth finish. As you might expect, there is a smoothness to the way the pencil glides on the surface. It definitely lends itself to more elegant, cleaner lines, and because it has a very smooth surface, your hand tends to move faster across the page, perfect for broader strokes and faster drawing. One of the downfalls I've noticed in working with a pencil on a smooth finish is that if you press too hard, it can almost engrave the paper, making your lines much more permanent and harder to erase. So that's something to look out for. As for inking on a smooth finish, it's similar to the way it feels when you're penciling. Your pen just sort of glides on the page, which is nice for a controlled line without any stuttering. Brush inking on a smooth surface is really nice also. You can get some really nice, slick, clean brush lines on this paper. I do feel like I'm more prone to accidentally smudging ink on my finger though, when I'm inking on a smooth finish. I think that's because the ink takes a little longer to soak into the paper. Something to be cautious of when inking on a smooth finish. Oh, and technical inking, like straight lines and mechanical stuff, is really nice on a smooth finish. I feel like the lines are just a bit cleaner and more precise. It seems that the traditional pre-ruled comic pages often have a smooth finish, so if you're looking to draw like the comic book pros, smooth might be the way to go. Here's an illustration I made on the smooth finish Bristol. I tried to get a nice mixture of smooth, clean lines as well as experimenting with some texture and dry brush. Although I don't feel like this paper is ideal for too many textures, it seems to have taken to it pretty well. Now onto vellum finish. This is my preferred finish for Bristol board. It's really just a preference thing. I like the way I'm able to pencil on this paper, slowly building up from light to dark. There's a nice texture to it that's perfect for penciling in my opinion. It's also much easier to erase than on the smooth finish. Ink takes really nicely to this paper as well. It seems to dry faster than on the smooth finish, so there's less smudging involved. I also like to use dry brush sometimes, and the texture on the paper really adds to that effect. Although this paper isn't as thick and toothy as a legit watercolor paper, you can use some pretty basic ink washes on it if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't use it for very involved watercolor painting, but for some light washes, it takes to it very well. Alright, so there's my quick rundown of Bristol board paper. Hopefully this helps clear up some of the differences and encourages you to try both and see what you like. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.